Hello everyone, welcome to this week's MathCast podcast. Today we are joined by an academic scholar and a MathLeap student. Today we are joined by Sophia Riggio who will join us to discuss Hilbert's Hotel. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's start by discussing the origin of Hilbert's Hotel. The concept was first proposed by German mathematician David Hilbert in 1924 as a fictional hotel that demonstrated the strange but fascinating properties of infinity. So to start demonstrating this thought experiment, let's say we have a hotel, one with an infinite number of rooms. They are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on forever. And a receptionist who will say is you. One night, the infinite hotel is completely full, an infinite number of guests. But a man walks in into the hotel and asks for a room. But instead of turning him down, you understand the concept of infinity. So you ask everyone to move a room down. So if you are in room one, go to room two, room two to room three, and so on. And just to generalize this, all the guests are moving from room N to room N plus one. And this process can be repeated for any finite number of people. Let's say if 40 new guests show up, everyone moves down 40 rooms to make room for the new guests. But then an infinitely long bus with an infinite number of passengers shows up. The sight would have definitely been a panic moment for you as the receptionist. But after taking some time to consider it, you understand that there is a way to fit these people at the infinite hotel. You start by asking the guests in room one to move to room two, the ones in room two to move to room four, room three to room six, and so on. And just to generalize this, you are simply going from room N to room 2N, doubling your room number, since this will allow all the odd numbered rooms to be free and therefore they can be used. Later that night, the unimaginable happens, an infinite number of infinitely long buses, each with an infinite number of seats. If the receptionist is unable to find rooms for all the guests, he will lose out on an infinite number of money. To accomplish this seemingly impossible task, remember that there are an infinite number of prime numbers, as proved by Euclid, which we will discuss on another podcast. Start by assigning every guest who currently has a room to room number two, to the power of their room number. The person in room one will go to room two, room two to room four, room three to room eight, and so on. Then we will start to distribute the rooms. Bus one will get the next prime number, three, raised to the power of its seat number. So for example, if you are on seat one, you will go to room three, seat two to room nine, and so on. The second bus will get the next prime number, five, third will get seven, fourth, 11, and so on. These strategies are only possible since we are talking about the natural numbers, i.e. the positive whole numbers. It will not, for example, work if we were talking about the real numbers. Consider the values between 1 and 2. This alone is an infinite value by only taking into consideration the difference between two numbers. The difference here is that there is no systematic way to get all the numbers. For the natural numbers, you just need to add 1 to each previous number, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But for the real numbers, there is always an in-between. If you pick any two numbers, decimal or whole number, there will always be a number between them, say 0.4 and 0.5. The strategy we will use is to add them together to get 0.9 and then divide them by 2 to get 0.45. Using this strategy, we can always find more numbers. And this is the beauty of numbers that they're infinite. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed.